Hello, this is a video about the navigation in DataGrip. When you work with an IDE, you'll often need to find things. In DataGrip, you may be looking for database objects, data, code files, or even settings. We will cover all this in our video. During this video, we will refer to the actions that we perform by their name, but many of these actions also have keyboard shortcuts to get to them. You will see these shortcuts displayed at the bottom of the screen. Let's start with database objects. First of all, any tree or list in an IntelliJ-based IDE is supported with the possibility to speed search. Simply start typing. Then you can use the arrow keys to switch between the results. It is important to understand here though that a matching database object will only be highlighted if its node is already open. Speed search also supports the use of abbreviations. For instance, typing in SBFC should be enough to find sales by film category. You can quickly navigate to database objects such as a table, view, or procedure, etc. Open the Navigate to pop-up and just type in the name of the object you are looking for, or an abbreviation, and then open it. Navigate to Symbol includes more objects in the search scope, like columns and indexes. Functions and procedures can also be found in the Tables tab. You can choose where to search, either in one specific data source or in a group of sources. Here is a small tip for searching for columns if you have a huge result set or table. First, you can hide all the other tool windows to see more data. Then, open the structure view and start typing. The speed search is able to save you again by filtering all the columns. You can press Enter to navigate to the particular column you were looking for. Let's talk briefly about searching for data. To quickly find data inside a table, Without writing a statement, you can call up the text search. This can be especially helpful if you don't actually know exactly which column contains the data you're looking for. You can see only the rows with matches if you prefer. You should understand that this only searches within the current page of the result set. To configure the page size, use the corresponding drop-down on the toolbar. Here you can choose the page size or ask DataGrip to show all the rows of the result or table. If you choose all, the search will respect all the data from this table. There's also an SQL filter. When you are working with a table, for instance, it is possible to enter a filtering condition written in SQL in the corresponding field, as you would if you were writing a WHERE clause. If you just want to look for data anywhere, use full text search. First, select the area you want to look for data in. It can be several data sources, just one data source, or even several tables. Use the context menu to start the full text search. Enter the string into the dialog that appears. You will see the list of data sources to search through and which particular statements DataGrip will run to perform the data search. Set whatever search options you need and click OK to see the results. Click on a result to open the data editor. The filter will be predefined to give you only those strings where the data is found. If you cannot locate the data because there are too many columns, use text search we talked about just a minute ago. Looking for code. As usual, in most kinds of software, the default text search find is available in DataGrip. You can also complete the value based on the words you have in the current context. Check out the settings icon, which can let you exclude comments and literals, or conversely, search only within comments and literals. You can also find in path, which looks for code everywhere, in other consoles, attached files, or even in the source code of views and routines. In our example, we're looking for code inside the source code of a view. In the results set, we can see dump files which are attached to our project and the source code of the views we need. The source code is stored inside DataGrip. Find usages in the context menu of the object will show you where it is used even if it is in scripts or source code of other objects. In our example, the inventory underscore one table is found in foreign keys, several views and routines. Speed search works from settings as well. Just type in what you are looking for, code completion for instance, and it will find it for you. To navigate to a file with a specific name, invoke the navigate to file action. Pressing Enter will open the file. 
and if you click the scroll from source button, it will show the file in the files tool window. There is one more important thing. If you know something is possible in DataGrip, but you don't have any idea how to access it, you can always use the find action. From here, you can also do anything possible from the given context, like create a file or do a complete reformat of the code. If you are ever completely lost, just use the All tab. Here you will find all the actions, settings, files, and database objects. That's it. Thank you for watching.